we will zoom into eight unusual behaviors associated with this complex personality disorder. Now, before we get started, remember, just because someone displays these behaviors doesn't automatically mean they're a psychopath. But hey, it sure raises some eyebrows, right? So let's jump right in and explore these intriguing traits and how they relate to psychopathy. We're talking about things like speaking slowly and softly, having intense stares, and even struggling to detect smells. It sounds fascinating, doesn't it? Stick around as we unpack each of these behaviors and what they could mean. Let's go. Number one, speaking slowly and softly is a hallmark trait of psychopaths, serving dual purposes. Some people talk slowly on purpose to feel like the boss of the conversation. It's like they're saying, hey, listen up, I'm in charge here. When they drag out their words, it makes everyone pay attention, like something big is about to happen. It's kind of intense, you know? Plus, they're sneaky about it. Talking slowly lets them slip ideas into your brain without you even realizing it. They can make you agree with stuff you might not really want to if they talk slowly and steadily. It's like they're playing mind games without you even knowing. And get this, it might not just be a trick they picked up. It could be how their brain works. Maybe they're wired a bit differently. And that's why they talk that way. So next time someone talks slowly, watch out. They might be trying to pull a fast one on you, even if they're taking their sweet time doing it. Number two, psychopaths perceive life through a rigid lens of cause and effect logic devoid of emotional subtleties or ethical considerations. The way someone sees the world can really shape how they make choices. For some folks, it's all about what they can see and prove, like facts and results, rather than feelings or what's right or wrong. This means they might not think about how their actions could hurt themselves or others. Because of this, they might have a tough time making real connections with people and end up causing problems for the people around them. Number three. Use of past tense by psychopaths. Individuals with psychopathic traits often have a noticeable habit of speaking in the past tense. This linguistic pattern isn't just a quirk. It's deeply rooted in their psychology and serves multiple purposes. For one, their struggle to empathize with current situations might lead them to talk about past events instead. This allows them to detach from their present emotions and the experiences of others. Additionally, using the past tense helps them dodge responsibility for their actions in the present. By framing things in the past, they can shift blame away from themselves. Furthermore, studies indicate that psychopaths may struggle with memory and attention, which makes it easier for them to recall and discuss past events rather than focus on the present. Number four, intense stares and limited blinking in psychopaths. It's often noticed that folks with psychopathic tendencies tend to stare at others for a long time without blinking much. This kind of stare, known as the predatory gaze, can make people feel really uncomfortable. One reason they do this might be because they don't feel as emotionally connected to others as most people do. When people usually make eye contact, they blink to show they're trying to connect emotionally but psychopaths might not feel the need for that kind of connection. Instead, their intense stare could be a way to scare or control others, trying to make them feel uneasy or react in a certain way. By keeping their eyes locked and not blinking much, psychopaths can make others feel really unsettled and make themselves seem more powerful in their interactions. It's like they're trying to show they're in charge. Number five, difficulty detecting smells. Individuals exhibiting psychopathic traits often struggle to identify various odors. This intriguing challenge stems from the intricate workings of the human brain, particularly the orbitofrontal cortex, a region crucial for processing olfactory stimuli. Individuals exhibiting psychopathic tendencies often display diminished functionality in this specific brain area. The orbitofrontal cortex, responsible for deciphering smells and contributing to emotional regulation, appears to operate less efficiently in those with such traits. 
Delving deeper into this phenomenon requires extensive research to elucidate the underlying reasons and intricate mechanisms driving this correlation. Nevertheless, these findings offer invaluable insights into the unique neurological disparities present in individuals with psychopathic traits, shedding light on the complex interplay between brain function and behavioral traits. Number six, limited response to yawning. Contrary to the common phenomenon of contagious yawning, where observing someone yawn triggers a yawn in oneself, individuals with psychopathic traits exhibit a reduced susceptibility to this reflex. Contagious yawning hinges on empathy, as it involves the capacity to understand and resonate with the emotional states of others. In typical scenarios, the sight of someone yawning activates mirror neurons, prompting a reciprocal yawn. However, due to their diminished empathetic responsiveness, individuals with psychopathic tendencies are less inclined to engage in this reflexive behavior. The reduced susceptibility to contagious yawning in individuals with psychopathic traits offers insights into the intricate interplay between empathy and neurobiology. Psychopathy, characterized by a lack of remorse, shallow affect, and a propensity for antisocial behavior is often associated with abnormalities in brain regions linked to empathy and emotional processing. Studies using functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, have revealed differences in neural activation patterns between individuals with psychopathy and those without when exposed to emotional stimuli, further supporting the notion that the observed behavioral differences may stem from underlying neurobiological variations. Moreover, the implications of the diminished contagious yawning response in individuals with psychopathic traits extend beyond mere curiosity about the nature of empathy. Understanding the mechanisms underlying this phenomenon may have practical applications in various fields, including forensic psychology and neuroscience. By elucidating how psychopathic traits manifest at both the behavioral and neural levels. Researchers can develop more effective diagnostic tools and interventions aimed at mitigating the harmful effects of psychopathy on individuals and society as a whole. Number seven, inappropriate laughter. Psychopaths are known to display behaviors that defy societal norms and expectations. And inappropriate laughter is one such manifestation. This peculiar trait often perplexes those around them, as psychopaths may chuckle or giggle in situations where humor is entirely absent, or even when confronted with distressing events. Such laughter is believed to be rooted in the structural and functional differences within their brains, which impact their ability to comprehend emotions in a typical manner. Consequently, what others perceive as disturbing or unsuitable circumstances may trigger amusement in psychopaths, highlighting the profound disconnection they experience from conventional emotional responses. It's important to recognize that not all individuals diagnosed with psychopathy exhibit this specific behavior, and inappropriate laughter can also be symptomatic of other psychological conditions. To unravel the intricate relationship between this laughter and psychopathy, Scientists are diligently conducting research aimed at understanding the underlying neural mechanisms at play. By exploring how these neurological differences contribute to psychopathic behavior, researchers hope to develop more effective strategies for the diagnosis, treatment, and potentially prevention of psychopathy and related disorders. This pursuit underscores the interdisciplinary nature of studying psychopathy. Integrating insights from neuroscience, psychology, and psychiatry to deepen our understanding of this complex phenomenon. Number eight, lack of fear recognition. Research in psychology has indicated that individuals with psychopathic traits tend to exhibit reduced brain activity in regions associated with processing fear and anxiety. This neurological characteristic contributes to their seemingly unaffected demeanor in situations that would typically elicit fear or anxiety in others. 
For example, psychopaths may maintain a calm and collected attitude, even when faced with imminent danger or severe consequences. This lack of fear recognition heightens their propensity for engaging in risky or aggressive behaviors, as they may not fully comprehend the potential consequences of their actions. While these behavioral patterns offer valuable insights into the nature of psychopathy, they alone are insufficient for diagnosis. A comprehensive assessment that delves deeper into the individual's psychological profile and history is essential for an accurate understanding and diagnosis of psychopathy. There you have it, folks. Understanding the behaviors associated with psychopathy can provide valuable insights into the complex nature of this personality disorder. By examining traits such as speaking slowly, limited emotional empathy, and inappropriate laughter, we gain a clearer understanding of how psychopaths interact with the world around them. These behaviors, rooted in neurological and psychological differences, highlight the importance of interdisciplinary research for comprehensively addressing psychopathy. By integrating insights from fields such as neuroscience, psychology, and psychiatry, we can develop more effective strategies for the diagnosis, treatment, and potentially prevention of psychopathy and related disorders. If you found this video informative, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content on psychology and mental health. And remember, understanding psychopathy not only enhances our knowledge, but also empowers us to create a more empathetic and compassionate society. Thanks for watching.